The Age of Innocence by Edith Wharton is a novel that explores the social norms and customs of New York City's upper-class society in the 1870s. The novel follows the story of Newland Archer, a young lawyer from a prominent family who is engaged to May Welland, a member of the social elite. However, their engagement is threatened when May's cousin, the unconventional and free-spirited Countess Ellen Olenska, returns to New York after a scandalous marriage and separation in Europe. As Newland becomes increasingly drawn to Ellen, he is forced to confront the rigid social hierarchy and moral code of his society, which values conformity and stability over individual happiness and desire. Through the character of Newland, Wharton explores the themes of tradition, duty, and the conflict between the individual and society. The novel is set during a time of great change and upheaval in American society, with the rise of industrialization and the emergence of new social classes challenging the established order. Wharton portrays the world of the New York elite as a rigid and stifling environment, where personal freedom and individuality are suppressed in favor of conformity and adherence to social norms. At the center of the novel is the love triangle between Newland, May, and Ellen. May is presented as the embodiment of the ideal woman in New York society, pure, innocent, and obedient. Ellen, on the other hand, represents the threat of the unconventional and the unknown. Newland is torn between his love for Ellen and his sense of duty to May and his social class. Throughout the novel, Wharton explores the role of women in society and the limitations imposed on them by their gender. May and Ellen represent two different visions of femininity, with May conforming to the traditional expectations of a woman in her social class, and Ellen challenging those expectations through her independence and unconventionality. The Age of Innocence also portrays the social rituals and customs of the New York elite in great detail, from the elaborate dinner parties and balls to the strict rules of courtship and engagement. These rituals are presented as both beautiful and oppressive, reflecting the contradictory nature of New York society. One of the most striking aspects of the novel is the way in which Wharton uses the setting of New York City to underscore the themes of the novel. The city is presented as a symbol of both progress and decay, with the old mansions and elegant ballrooms of the upper class juxtaposed with the crowded streets and tenements of the working class. In the end, Newland chooses to stay with May and honor his social obligations, sacrificing his own personal happiness for the sake of tradition and duty. The novel ends with Newland reflecting on the passing of time and the inevitability of change, suggesting that the world of the New York elite is fading away and giving way to a new era. Overall, The Age of Innocence is a masterful exploration of the tensions between individual desire and societal expectation, tradition and change, and the limitations imposed on individuals by their social class and gender. Wharton's vivid descriptions of New York City and its elite society bring the world of the novel to life, and her nuanced portrayal of the characters and their relationships makes the novel a timeless classic of American literature. We hope you are enjoying the content on the Library Channel. Our team is dedicated to bringing you the best book summary, recommendations, and literary discussions on YouTube. If you are finding our content helpful, we would greatly appreciate it if you could take a moment to like this video leave a comment with your thoughts or suggestions, and subscribe to our channel. This will help us grow and continue to provide you with more great content in the future. Thank you for your support and happy reading.